name is George, I'm um, an intern with the Science of Turkey Studies. Uh, my question uh, will be a quick one. Um, we are seeing, in one way or another, the Kurdish regional government in southern Pakistan getting closer and closer to full independence. And as you quite rightly said, well, that is one area of Pakistan that affects every area of Pakistan. So do you believe that in the event that the Kurdish regional government obtains full independence, Mr. Erdogan's and federal systems um, theory will survive. And you believe that the Kurdish population, for example, in Turkey, will be satisfied with the federal system, whereas their southern um, brothers will be that um, are fully independent. Good question. It's Jesse Harrington. I wanted to ask, please. According to your party's manifesto, where will the high wage paying jobs come from uh, in the economy? And uh, my second question is, when do you think peace will come to the region? Right. Gordogan, student in diplomacy and foreign policy. Uh, I have questions about the Middle East. And my question is, what's the difference between people who are dying in Palestine, in Syria, in Iraq, and in Arab, Kobani? I mean, what's the difference? Because you call the people on the street for protesting about what's happening in Ayn al-Arab Kobani, but you didn't say anything and you didn't call anyone to protest, for example, uh, uh, about what happened in Palestine or in Iraq. Why? And secondly, you said that PKK deserved to be out of terrorist list. Why they deserve that? Because they killed a lot of soldiers in Turkey? I mean, what's the difference between ISIS and the PKK? They are both terrorist organizations, but just one is using Islam and the other is atheist. That's why the, the, the West keeps silent about the PKK, but they are against ISIS. No? Don't you think? Way to serve, please. <laughs> difficult question. <laughs> you, you, you have three very, very different points. So, 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 there cannot be one answer to these three. <laughs> 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 you, you cannot speak longer than ten minutes. So okay. okay. <laughs> the, the last one is uh, the most I like. Uh, it uh, reflects uh, Ty Berdoan's argumentation. <laughs> 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 I'm not the one from the government, I'm just a student. No worries. <laughs> okay, but the, Sorry? The, 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 I'm very familiar with that question. The, the major difference is that uh, the PKK is uh, fighting uh, for the liberation of the people from, a, from the yoke of. Uh, a, a dominant state, uh, but ISIS is uh, fighting to uh, bring a, 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 a order of uh, a religion to all people who are not uh, sharing the same values. So uh, this uh, results with uh, you know a new way of uh, a domination and yoke for the people. Uh, who are uh, seeking for uh, freedom, uh, independence, uh, freedom of will, freedom of uh, everything. Uh, therefore, uh, uh, this, is a, this is a basic difference uh, at the level of targets, uh, uh, aims. The second one is the methods. Uh, uh, PKK is, of course, uh, resorting to force, but uh, this is, uh, this is not a uh, force against people, but it's force against uh, a, do a governing uh, state uh, who is uh, imposing its uh, authority and uh, laws uh, to a people who would like to live in a different way, but uh, have not been able to find peaceful means uh, to express their demands and wishes. Uh, it's not, uh, is this valid for uh, IS? No, I don't think so. Uh, because uh, IS is not uh, uh, fighting against uh, a uh, 
state which imposes its values on them, but they are imposing their values on others. So uh, these are uh, two different sets of issues. Of course, there is a social reality to bias, but uh, uh, for me, uh, not only their methods, but also their programs are uh, problematic, so we cannot put them on the same uh, uh, path. That, that's the reason why I cannot equalize them uh, together. For your question, uh, well, the, the joke I made at the beginning uh, was Tayyip uh, Erdogan's reaction to uh, uh, international support for Kobani. Uh, he reacted that uh, what is the difference between IS and uh, PKK? Uh, so uh, uh, this, the difference was what I told. Uh, for your question, uh, of course, uh, this is a possibility, probability, but you know, we cannot uh, make uh, our predictions on uh, presumed uh, situation, but we have to follow the uh, actual progress. The actual progress of the situation in uh, southern Kyrgyzstan is still uh, uh, retaining their uh, status as uh, a component part of uh, Iraq's uh, territorial integrity. So uh, we will see if, if this happens. Of course, uh, uh, we should ask first uh, Jalan how he's going to correct uh, this situation with this uh, paradigm. Uh, and then, uh, however, in my opinion, that they can be said that there can be confederal uh, relations uh, between the uh, uh, and what's uh, the name going to be, but the uh, uh, present uh, Kurdish administration in Iraq and other parts of Kurdistan, still we can uh, stay on the confederate level. Uh, level. Uh, but this is, this is uh, yeah, uh, a speaker, speculative answer, inevitably. The third one, when the peace would come to the region, I, I think the, the, when there's going to be peace, there's going to be no state at all. But this is a very far future, I think. <laughs> the fourth question, job opportunities, please. Job, job opportunities. The high paying job opportunities, please. Um, I think that what we have to do is to confiscate the land and capital. <laughs> <laughs> Could, 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 could I just make a, a, a brief comment here from a, again a, a British? It, it's worth bearing in mind in, in some ways. Uh, and that is the situation in Ireland. Because, uh, yeah, uh, as you know, uh, the island of Ireland has been troubled for the hundreds of years. And uh, although the, the peace process hasn't finally concluded, nevertheless enormous progress has been made. And uh, a degree of stability and peace has been achieved, which many people thought just a few years ago would never have been possible. And one of the reasons that's happened is because, to be honest with you, both sides compromised. The, the British state, but also the IRA compromised as well too. And uh, we have a unique constitutional situation in Ireland, which to be honest is not fully appreciated by people in Britain. Because the, uh, the north of Ireland has a, an autonomy, they're still part of a British state, but they have a very, very significant degree of autonomy in Britain, but also have a very distinct relationship with the Republic of Ireland as well, too. So it's, it's a bit of a halfway house in a sense. In that, uh, you know, nobody is entirely happy, but at the same time, nobody is profoundly disappointed in the relationship. And that, that sort of historic compromise seems to have been holding, and seems to have taken us forward to a, to a new phase in, in Ireland's historic development, which many people, as I say, just a few years ago, thought never would have been possible. Yeah, correct. I would like to... Uh add something after this uh, presentation. Uh, even if uh, no nothing has been concrete and uh, 
in terms of uh, labor rights has been gained after the introduction of the uh, peace talks in Turkey. Uh, still, we, we can speak about a, a huge uh, difference. Uh, this is uh, the end of uh, armed fight on the ground. This has uh, brought uh, a relative uh, mutual understanding between uh, many sections of uh, Turkey's uh, uh, mostly uh, popular ba uh, background. What I mean is uh, that the <coughs> during the fight in the PKK guerrillas and the Turkish army, you know, of course the massive loss was only part of the Kurdish guerrillas. However, uh, Turkish soldiers uh, who are uh, generally uh, poor young people, uh, some of the workers are peasants, also losing their lives and they have counted around five, six thousand since the start of the war. This means uh, six thousand uh, funeral ceremonies, uh, 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 hate speeches out to uh, uh, with uh, tens of thousands of people every time. And it is uh, added for the poison of Turkey's uh, uh, political psychology uh, in a very uh, uh, negative way. And when the, uh, that's uh, in this uh, the series of deaths were stopped, uh, there were no more coffins uh, coming uh, from all from the villages or the. Uh, <coughs> suburban, uh, suburban areas of the big cities. Uh, then uh, the uh, uh, climate uh, was uh, somehow uh, smoother and uh, nicer. However, we see that uh, when, when this process uh, is uh, protracted, uh, then uh, the, the, these gains uh, uh, are uh, turning into the negative and the, the frustration takes place. Therefore, uh, what you said is very uh, much correct. Uh, everyone uh, cannot be happy, but uh, no one should also be frustrated. This is very important. And, but uh, I see that the Turkish government is not uh, the uh, the making peace process is not one of the uh, uh, expertises that uh, the Turkish uh, state has. Uh, they generally like to be, so they have to learn uh, how to uh, make concessions. Thank you.